Hey, what's up? Welcome to the new episode of Berlin's 96 localities. Today we're in Tempelhof and you might have heard the name Tempelhof because it's the name of a former airport. Tempelhof is a locality that is sort of, well, I think three kilometers to the center probably of Berlin. Uh, it has a lot of um, nice building substance, as you can see already in the back, uh, some old buildings. And um, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna also see a few nice parks here and there. Uh, but first, of course, let's go to the former airport because I think it is indeed the main attraction. Let's go. Let's take a look at a map first. As I mentioned, Tempelhof is relatively central. It has a population of a bit more than 60,000 and belongs to the district of Tempelhof Schöneberg. It is also mentionable that Tempelhof does not border the former GDR. Let's take a closer look now. You can see that the former airport with its buildings and the airfield constitutes about one third of the locality's area. You can also see that the Ringbahn and the Stadtautobahn cut right through the locality. My tour starts in the very north and before I reach the airport I stop by the Platz der Luftbrücke. So I've crossed the street and I've arrived at a square that is named Platz der Luftbrücke which you could translate to a square of the air supply. I will explain this in a second. Uh, but before that you can see that this is a nice square um, but there are also some homeless people there and uh, some are shouting at me I guess they um, they are a bit drunk probably so yeah that's uh, also a reality on a Sunday morning here in Berlin this square if I turn around you can see a huge monument and this monument is dedicated to um, the United States and especially their Air Force and uh, the pilots that delivered goods to West Berlin in an era after, uh, I think it was in the early 1950s, uh, because, um, you know, there were those tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union, and the Soviet Union blockaded um, West Berlin. So there was no other possibility to deliver goods to the people here, to the citizens, only by aircraft. And this is what they did and on the bottom uh, you can see there uh, there are names inscribed on this one and uh, these are the people I guess probably uh, especially of the Air Force uh, that lost their life um, during this time. This is a very interesting interesting square and I will uh, continue uh, now to the entrance of the former airport. So here's the entrance to the former airport and we'll take a look over here because there is a fine map that gives you an impression of the whole area. This is especially created for blind people. So it has these little bombs. You can see that sort of a huge wing. And uh, as far as I know, there's also another plan over here. Once this was constructed, it was one of the uh, biggest buildings in the world, which was in the 1930s. And here you have a map of the whole area. You can see that wing over there. And this is the Tempelhofer Feld, which is now used as a park. Unfortunately, due to the ongoing pandemic, the visitor center was closed. This black and white aerial photography gives you an impression of the dimensions though. Actually, for some two years, the main building of Tempelhof Airport was the biggest building in the world, until the Pentagon in Washington DC was opened. This was in the 1930s. The airport was constructed by the Nazis. Therefore, you can see their idea of architecture, as big and clean as possible in the buildings. I had the opportunity to take some footage for you and honestly it did not feel too great with the awful legacy of the Nazis still being somewhat present. Much more exciting for me was to discover the traces of the airport, which are visible even more than a decade after its closure. Like direction signs and disappearing parking lots, 
being reconquered by nature. I continued my tour to one of the entrances of the Tempelhofer Feld. The Tempelhofer Feld is the majority of the former airfield and nowadays a public park. The size is almost identical to New York City's Central Park, but the Tempelhofer Feld has got almost no trees and no water, just a mix of asphalt and short grass. A few years ago there was a referendum whether to keep the park this plain or not. The majority voted yes. Most people use it now for sports like running, cycling, skating, kiting or cricket, or just getting together and hanging out with friends. I think it is pretty cool that you can also see and feel the old airport on the former airfield. There are marks on the ground as well as the huge sign Berlin Tempelhof and the former radar tower. The huge asphalt area in front of the main building is regularly the place of Berlin's Formula E race. When I was there, construction on the mobile stands was going on. So I've just left uh, the airfield and the airport and I've entered Neu Tempelhof and it's quite green here and um, quite idyllic actually. You have these nice houses, uh, you have gardens, so I guess this is an area where you would like to live now. Um, but it's probably not been always like this because during the time that the airport was still operational you can imagine that all the planes were coming and going day and night which meant that this was probably one of the loudest areas well now it's quite idyllic that was my first impression it changed quickly though the rooftop of an old bunker a swampy little park traces of decay and ugly architecture from the 70s were also part of what I saw. This left me somehow puzzled. It might be similar to Reinickendorf, where a little money was invested during the time Tegel Airport was operational. Another side note is that some streets have the names of German fighter pilots that died during World War I underlining a sinisterish mood for me. Yeah, so this is what happens when you make plans and uh, then the weather changes everything. Well, it started to rain as um, it was about to be and uh, yeah, so I have to, have to wait for a moment and see how the weather will continue. After a couple of minutes of heavy rain, I could continue my tour to Alt Tempelhof. As you might have seen in my other tours, the Alt, which means old, usually refers to the historic center of a locality. Alt Tempelhof was different though. The main street with a lot of traffic, an underground stop and a green strip with concrete art was all I could find. Yeah, so I decided to call it a day because um, the weather doesn't look to be getting much better anytime soon. Um, but uh, for my final stop, I've discovered a really beautiful park here. Um, I would consider it to be one of the most beautiful parks I've seen in this, in this whole city of Berlin. Um, there is this lovely church, there are the trees, the water areas. Um, yeah, it's just nice, even when the rain is pouring down. And it's probably the best way um, to end a tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I have actually something else for me. I got a coffee. Haven't had one yet. So I will enjoy the coffee. Um, you might check the next video, which you haven't seen so far. 
and um, if you have seen all of them then I'm looking forward for the next one yeah um, hope to see you soon take care cheers <laughs>